So that is welcome to another short video. Today in this video, what we're going to review over here is a new ball which is launched by Ola Balls in technical collaboration with Moa Smokes and they have sent this ball to Hooker Bus for review. This ball has been sent by Ola Balls and facilitated by iBazooka in India which is the official distributor of Ola Balls in India. So let me introduce to you the Moa Ola Ball. And I've been using this Moa Ola Bowl for around 15 days right now and heavily used this packed in various different formats, open foil, provost, cloud light devices like Nagrani and the cloud loaders itself. I have thoroughly analyzed this bowl, how this bowl performs, what is it, does it overheat or not, whatever, every parameter I have done and that's why I'm making a video after 15 days so as to give my followers and subscribers an in-depth and true review of the MOA bowl if there are any faults, if there is any improvement, what the advantages, etc, etc, whatever it is, I'm going to be presenting in the later part of the video. If you look at the cup of the bowl, it is not shallow, it is not very deep, it assumes, it seems to be shallow, but it has approximately according to me, has the perfect shallow, it's not very deep at all and there is a rook-like thing in the middle spire but that's not exactly rook you can see over here it is not exactly nook uh it is like a more of like a teeth structure and over here if you can see there is a teeth structure over here and in the middle there is definitely a rook but between the walls of the rook there is a teeth structure so there are big air gaps and there are small tiny thin air gaps over here which definitely does provide with better airflow in whichever format of smoking you prefer. The walls of the bowl is not very thick, it's not very thin. If you have very thick walls on the bowl, then definitely your heat retention is more and your bowl takes time to charge up and easily cool down between the session and you have to put in more coals. It's not very fat, it is almost the right size. Let's have a look at the body of the bowl. It's not very tall over here. It is not very short, it's not very tall, it is the perfect size. If you look at the base of the bowl, it is using the standard Italian clay, which Ola uses in almost every bowl. If you look at the bottom of the bowl and compare it with the top spire, the gap is even. It is not, you know, it is not expanding, it is not contracting. And I found this bowl not to be an open draw. It is not restricted draw, it is a medium draw bowl. So I think so, this particular gap plays a part so that, you know, you don't receive extremely open draw. Even open draw depends upon hookah and, you know, hose, everything. But bowl also plays a role sometimes. Sometimes if you have a very open draw hookah, bowl cavity will help to reduce a little bit of the extra open draw that you're facing. And the cavity of the bowl, and the cavity of the bowl is just perfect shallow. It is a little wider, but it is not deep. It, this design is important, Hukapas likes this design because people who are not very good in terms of packing can easily fluff in their flavor and can smoke and ha can have a decent session. Definitely advanced packers who know what pack, uh, how to pack in a bowl and how to redistribute the flavor, definitely they will excel their job in this particular bowl. But definitely people who don't know much about packing can also pack in this bowl and have a good session. So what I'm going to do right now is put some flavor in the bowl, whatever I want to smoke and we'll show you the packing thing, how it is packed and how it looks after being packed. I'm gonna light up my hookah and do the talking. So as you can see, I've packed some flavor in the bowl. This part of the flavor, all of these flavors is local Indian flavor, not using any imported flavor because that's how I judge the bowl. I don't use imported flavors. I use local, not so very good quality tobacco. And over here, this is lemon and this is fizzy cola. There's a brand here, Royal Fizzy Cola. Please don't judge me on the packing over here because Royal requires this pack, which is a cyclone pack, which Hooker was invented and will make a video shortly. So Hooker started. There's the Moa Ola Bowl. Above there is the Cloud Lotus One Plus with three Coco Zeal coals because Coco Zeal coal is the best in India. The hook is started, let me take a puff and share with the review. The flavor is smoking fantastic. Fizzy cola and lemon. So it is basically 
proper Coca-Cola with lemon. It's like a drink. There's absolutely no overheat going on. I've placed three Cocosil coals. Cocosil coals are medium heat coals. They are not high heat coals, like a lot of sulfur and all. And they're not low heat. They're medium heat coals work for every kind of smoking, open foil, provost, or lotus cloud or any other kind of HMD. The flavor output is absolutely fine, just the way I expected. And as you can see, the clouds are also very good and smoky. I've been smoking in this bowl for over 15 days. As I mentioned, I've had numerous sessions. I forgot the count of the number of sessions I've had in this bowl. And it always has been very good. Also in the early part of the video, I showed that the bowl is not deep. The, it is little shallow. It's not too shallow. It's not too deep. It's not deep at all, but it is not too shallow. It's a perfect amount of shallowness that you require for a small session. That's what I had a talk with Moa Smokes that you know, this is meant, this belly, uh, bowl is meant to hold around 13, 14 grams in case of your medium cut shisha. In case of long leaves, you can chop it down. But overall, I would say that for a blonde leaf, it would hold around 13, 14 grams. Some brands vary one or, gram, one or two grams here and there. For dark leaf, I smoke tangerines in it and it will contain around, uh, in a this pack it will contain around 17 to 18 grams and you can have a good basically good session with a provost or a lotus kind of hmd wow absolutely no weight this is due to let me get the bowl so i can explain you as you can see i can easily hold the bowl there's no overheat going on this is this also doesn't overheat that much but i cannot keep my finger for very long over here and if you want to change the bowl or if you want to change the hookah for whatever reason then this is the best spot in the bowl to hold it never gets heated up this this also is doesn't get heated very much but this is the most safest part of the bowl you can just hold it and move it anytime during the session it doesn't heat at all that's what i like about the bowl I cannot stop smoking. This is my favorite mix and it is absolutely shining in this bowl over here. One of the things that I mentioned that this is meant to hold low shisha like if you don't have much time and you want to smoke let's say an hour, an hour and a half you do, if you don't want to go two hours or so in a particular in this definitely this bowl is made for that and that's what I had a word with more smokes. This is meant for shisha smokers who are looking for a shorter session. Definitely not everyone smokes for three hours, no, not two hours. Many people are in the community who also smoke for just an hour. Maybe they don't have time. Maybe they don't want to smoke more than one hour. They are fed up. They don't want to smoke for more than one hour. But what I've concluded and what I found out from this particular bowl that this is not a short session bowl. This bowl is not a short session bowl. I have clogged around till three hours only on certain flavors which can clog into three hours three hour right three hour range i have clogged in this particular mix this particular mix and this royal flavors i have clogged around three hours as for my uh, analysis you can easily clock in two to 2.15 hours of pure flavor and smoke even for a no for an expert it might extend to 2.5 hours 2.30 2 hours 30 minutes but for a no person also it can go easily around more than two hours and i have clocked in three hours in this bowl with pure flavor which may be due to this design the bowl design over here the design where you know more of the mud is being used to you know cart this lower part of the bowl which somehow doesn't let the flavor to burn too quickly on kind of tries to extend the session by keeping the temperature of the bowl constant at all times and throughout a longer period of time. I'm enjoying this session basically. So that is my review of the MOA Ola Bowl launching on 1st September worldwide. Different different sellers having, you can check it out with Ola. If you're from a country that you don't like, I, I cannot explain. I can tell in India that, you know, Aiba Zuka is delivering. I, Aiba Zuka is official distributor of Polar Bowls in India and they're selling it in India right now. So you can get it from Aiba Zuka in India. 
from I think so US I think so five star and all are keeping this bowl and various other sellers will also keep this bowl. You can check it out from Ola Bowls itself or whenever it is launched, the seller pages will also mention it out in the stories and post that this more Ola Bowl is available. So Hukabas approves this bowl and Hukabas likes this bowl and Hukabas wants to smoke more and more session in this particular bowl. That's my review of this bowl. Hope you liked it. Thank you Ola Bowls for sending this bowl to Hukabas for review and thank you Ivas Hukka for facilitating this bowl to Hukabas from Italy. And as always, like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel and do follow Instagram. Hook up 10. I post interesting stories, interesting reels, interesting info about everything that you want to do about hookah. I am thoroughly enjoying my session. You can also light up your hookah and enjoy your session. Do buy this Moa Ola Bowl. It is very good. I am going to enjoy my session and I am going to see you in another video.